is another day another routine i honestly didn't have the best sleep last night i think i'm at that part of my period where i just don't sleep that well because it lasts for like a couple days but last night this happened too where i'm just like constantly waking up but that also could be because my two kitties were cuddling me and i call it a cuddle puddle one of them goes in my arm and then the other one gets jealous and then she comes in my arm as well so i have like two kittens in my arm while i'm trying to sleep and it's like kind of uncomfortable and they're taking up my whole spot on the bed but i know if I wanted to have a good sleep, I could just kick them out, put them somewhere else on the bed. But my heart can't do that, you guys. Like, I literally cannot move them because they just want to be cuddled with me and each other. And I just can't. I can't. Like, I can't have it any other way. And I will sacrifice my sleep for it. So I can't even complain because they're just so cute and they want attention. Even yesterday, I barely got any sleep, I swear. And I was fine during the day. Like, I didn't even nap. I just feel like at this part of my period, I go a little bit psycho. And hormones are raging. I got the female rage. I don't sleep, but I just have a lot of adrenaline. It's a weird hormonal cycle right now. But we just gotta make the most of it. So anyways, let's go to the gym, get this workout done, and have a good time. This is my little fit for the day. It's wearing this little sweater from Princess Polly. It's giving a fall. Um, and then this is butter over a Tia tank, and then just some black leggings. And that is the little outfit. So I just got to the grocery store and I picked up a coffee on the way because honestly I haven't picked up a coffee in a while and also I ran out of milk at home. I'm like, okay, this is not gonna do. I'm not gonna have a black coffee because my palate is not adjusted to that of an adult yet. I need my milk in my latte and so yeah, I was just like, whatever, I'll pick one up, buy some milk today and we'll be good for the rest of the week. But it is like really, really hot today, almost 30 degrees. This is like the last real week of summer, I would say. And after this, I feel like it's really gonna transition into fall based off of just like looking at the weather it's gonna be like 30 degrees basically every single day this week and then after it literally drops off of a cliff and goes down to like 18 degrees it's kind of sad kind of exciting because i am looking forward to fall but at the same time it's like the winter doom the winter gloom she's real but i am excited to make like a bunch of fall videos for you guys and do all that cozy fun fall stuff it is a vibe in itself and i know like the second half of the year is literally the best because we got christmas Christmas, we got fall we got thanksgiving we got halloween like there's so many things to look forward to this second half of the year but it's still just like the winter doom the winter gloom you know so i don't know i have been having mixed feelings about it this year to be honest and i'm just going to try to make as much as i can out of this last week of beautiful sun that we're getting so i'm thankful we're kind of getting like a little summer send off with this weather it's like enjoy the heat bitches because i ain't coming back for a long time but yeah i definitely want to just like integrate and plan more trips in general that will hopefully like 
make me feel better about going into winter going to somewhere tropical a couple times anyways i got invited to an event actually for i think it's next week or the week after that but if i'm not allowed to bring a plus one i am not going like honestly it gives me so much anxiety pulling up to these things by myself like even just the thought of it it aches me out and i know i could totally do it like i could I really could if I really pushed myself that far out of my comfort zone but like I also have to have boundaries where it's like if I don't feel comfortable going alone because I don't know anybody then it's like I don't have to go you know I feel like in Vancouver all of the little like influencers are really connected and probably most likely people going to this event are gonna know other people and I'm just gonna be there not knowing anybody and so I don't definitely not gonna go if I'm not allowed to bring a plus one but I really want to go because it's like a workout class and everything and it's downtown and there's no way I am I'm parking downtown going downtown by myself like i'm sorry there's just no way it just like gives me anxiety and i know it's something that i i'll get over one day maybe but at the end of the day boundaries as well you know i'm not going to push myself to the point of breakage so i was super excited to get invited to an event because i usually like never do i feel like i've gone invited to like one or two three events my whole entire career which is fine but I really want to go I just hope I pray to God I can bring a plus one so anyways let me know how you guys feel on that um, and if you would go alone like what your stance is on that because yeah I personally just don't feel comfortable going alone so I don't know also random but sabrina carpenter's new album it has been on repeat i have not been listening to anything else for the past week since it came out every single song is a banger like i do not dislike one song on the album and that says a lot because i'm very picky and madison was like that you need to listen to it she's like you have to go and then i did and i'm like oh shit i actually really vibe with this but anyways i need to go grocery shopping i ran out of like really random things like salt honey how do you run out of salt okay i don't know but i did so i need to get salt <laughs> And I just need to like plan out dinners actually for this week. So I'm gonna do that quickly while I finish my coffee and before I go in, because I have no idea what to make. I made last night, I wasn't vlogging, but I made this delicious, actually it's on my YouTube shorts. So you can check it out if you want to, but I made this delicious honey garlic chicken. Oh my God, it tasted like literal, like restaurant quality. Like Joel was like, this is the best thing you have ever made. And I'm like, I agree, like it's so good. So maybe I'll make that again this week. So it was just like literally so good how can i not and joel's like can you just make that every day like i wouldn't mind so i'm gonna plan that out right now and then go grocery shopping so i'll see you guys when i'm in there also i'm just wearing these thrifted shorts they're levi's and then this tank is from aritzia and this belt is from pretty sure i got it from princess Polly. and then wearing it with my sambas of course but that is my little one of my last summer outfits of the season <laughs> got back from the grocery store and I kind of plotted out a few dinners and I just did a shop I got what I needed so I'll give you guys a haul in a second but when I tell you the female rage has been hitting me lately the female rage was on throughout these past couple of days and like I'm just starting to shake it off now there is like a window within my cycle where I am a bitch I am a bitch and I literally cannot like talk to Joel sometimes and I'm just like I need to contain myself because every little thing that happens pisses me off a drop of coffee is left on the counter after I cleaned it and I felt rage do you know what I mean <laughs> It's actually funny because like that's normally not me like I when I'm in my normal state of being I obviously I'm not gonna get mad or rage over a little drop of coffee on the counter So let me know if you can relate to that because it's literally so hormonal and it's all a part of that's why they call it the female rage <laughs> Hormones go crazy hormones go crazy at this time of the month, but thankfully it only lasts like a couple of days but it's so funny because like I just try to stay silent sometimes when I'm like in these moods and I'm like I love you Joel but like I just need to be silent right now because everything is pissing me off and I don't want to get mad at you but I definitely feel a lot better today I do so that is coming to an end thank god and like on those days I can't vlog like I didn't vlog yesterday for a reason because I literally was like so angry about just everything even though there's nothing to be angry about you find things to be angry about and it's actually pretty funny but yeah those days like I'm not gonna fake and pick up the camera and be like yeah I'm so happy today look at this and look at that like no I'm, I'm really not so 
Anyways, I feel like I need a fall wardrobe revamp. I feel like I also haven't bought any new clothes in a long time, which is surprising for me because I did go summer shopping at the beginning of the year, uh, beginning of the summer, but I haven't really gone shopping since then and I feel like I need to revamp my fall wardrobe. And guys, okay, I just already talked about this on the podcast, but I have a trip planned soon and it's booked with Air Canada. Literally, for the dates of my trip basically, is like in the midst of their strike that they're going on and so I am... Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to stress about it, but I was really looking forward to this trip. Now it's like I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go. I don't know if there's going to be any flights that are flying out. And they said I can reschedule, but you can't cancel. And so I don't know if I should just like leave it and hope for the best or what to do. So I'm a little stressed about that, but I'm trying not to let it like I'm trying not to manifest anything. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to ignore it. Being like everything's gonna work out everything's gonna be fine and everything does happen for a reason but it's just like on the back of my head like oh my gosh this is so annoying and i'm not like getting mad at them for striking because obviously they're doing it for a reason but it's just how did it line up to when i'm leaving like when do i ever go on a trip and like this is the dates that you decide to strike like can you just move it a week later please or like a week before i wouldn't mind I'm just trying to hold on like to everything happens for a reason and if I'm not meant to go then I'm not meant to go and it's whatever so we'll see what ends up happening but I was really I'm really looking forward to the trip so fingers crossed anyways let's do a little grocery haul okay guys here is the little haul so I just got some tomatoes I've been loving just using tomatoes for breakfast recently I got some bananas, some cheddar cheese, because I want to make cream of broccoli. Broccoli, corn, because it was on sale, and I was like, you know what? I haven't made myself corn this season, so may as well, and that's like very much fall as well. Um, and then I got some paprika, avocado, onions. I got some pumpkin puree, so I can make a pumpkin spice latte sauce, so I'm really excited for that. Got some milk, got some gluten-free flour, salt, um, coconut yogurt and salsa and then just these little gouda cheeses which will be good for just a little snack and yeah honestly I felt I felt like I got so much more oh wait I did get more I got some meat from Meridian um, I got steak I got ground beef and then I also got chicken thighs yeah all the meat is in this bag here you only literally need to cook corn for like two minutes like once the water boils you put the corn in and it takes like two to five minutes to cook so it's super easy and i'm just gonna grill up the steaks and that will be dinner nothing like too extravagant but i am like actually getting excited to start making soups in the fall because i literally know that's gonna be my go-to like i will make chili every day oh my gosh i'm just remembering now i made this white chicken chili so many times last year in the winter and fall and it was so good so i'm so excited to bring that back and make some cozy soup like dinners oh my gosh i'm actually getting it falls growing on me Just finished dinner and now i'm making cookies oh my goodness i am so excited i'm gonna put these in the oven now and put them on a pan but i'm so excited i've been craving cookies for so long now guys the chocolate chip cookies turned out so good i do the recipe like these are not healthy chocolate chip cookies they're just like normal your baker's goods chocolate chip cookies i did the recipe that's on the back of the chip it's bag that is the best recipe in town so if you guys are looking to make warm chocolate chip cookies use that recipe they're just like perfection and i made them gluten-free with um, gluten-free flour 
like just the one-to-one -one. literally so good i'm already on the last episode of bridgerton the last season the last episode i binged it over the past few weekends it's just one of those shows on netflix that has like literally like eight episodes per season so it literally goes by binge worthy it's actually pretty entertaining like once you get into it you want to know what happens so then you keep watching and i don't know how i've never watched before but now i want a new season and this one just came out this year so new season is going to probably not come out till next year but if they're making a new season i don't even know if they are but i literally had the most productive day today i didn't film at all because i feel like when i'm on the grind with some things i can't film it or else it's going to like slow me down i cleaned the whole upstairs i've been working on that for the past like week now where i just wanted to finish it and i vacuumed everything kind of deep cleaned everything revamped the upstairs i cleaned my office my closet and it just like feels so much better i did a good deep vacuum as well i got rid of so many things that i just like that just weren't serving me anymore and like i said in one of my previous videos i just kind of want to update some of like the decor to not so cheap plasticky colorful things because that's just not me anymore and i just want to make it more classy older more me and more what makes me feel like good and luxurious in the morning like i'm not even kidding you if i wake up and the kitchen is dirty the hallway's dirty like my room's dirty if something is dirty when i wake up in the morning it takes my mood from like a 10 to like a 2 like i'm not even kidding you it affects my mood so much in the morning because i'm already like grouchy in the morning and if you add like things being a mess on top of that you don't want to be near me in the morning like seriously like i already need 10 minutes to myself in the morning and if there's like a mess in my way i am just it just literally mentally affects me like how clean my space is how organized and tidy things are directly correlates to my mood during the days directly correlates to me when i wake up in the morning and yeah that's been my vibe lately i even did laundry today um got some editing done i've been trying to do like a little short form video every single day and just like taking clips of my whole day from start to finish and just 20 second video so you guys can go check out what i've been doing on youtube shorts or tiktok but i've just been trying to capture a little bit every single day to just like document it for short form platforms you know get myself out there a little bit more whereas like my other morning routine videos that i was doing they felt just like really repetitive because it was like the same thing every single morning and i know some of you guys liked those where i just posted literally my morning routine every single morning but i don't know for me they just got so repetitive that like i just need to switch it up a bit maybe i'll go back to those in a while but like for now this is what's working and this is what i'm enjoying so let me know if you guys have liked those videos because i actually just posted one now and i got a comment so i'm gonna reply to that but anyways i'm gonna finish my cookie finish watch like five more minutes of bridgerton and then head to bed okay guys about to go get my nails done this is the before they just feel so icky and grown out yeah we got matching nails our hands look identical right now um and also two of them broke ew. my middle finger and this one and i had to, ew i had to be living with this mind. that is so unfortunate i had to be living with these for like a week and they're just like so bad so i'm so excited to get them done let me show you this is my inspo photo i literally want this exact thing the color the shape the length they're just so fall and i haven't gotten like deep red nails i don't think ever so i'm really excited so that's the inspo and this is the before let's go get them done good morning you guys so it is a few actually it's like a late about a week later from when you last saw me in those vlog clips but now we're full-fledged fall mode i'm in my fall era now a lot changed within a week with the weather and it's just literally so dark and gloomy now which i'm kind of loving because it's getting fall but i actually just got back from a trip to montreal i went to go visit my family and for my cousin's baby shower so that was really fun and we went kind of like over the weekend we went from thursday to tuesday morning like we got back really early in the morning so i've just been kind of like unpacking the last couple days and just like catching up on sleep and everything but when i'm in montreal i don't really like vlogging because i just like to be present with my family and it's like no point of making a video anyways so now we're back and it was like a well-needed vacation because whenever i step away from filming it always makes me miss it, it kind of like resets me you know what i mean so that was a really nice little vacation because montreal's only like a less than a five hour flight away so 
was super easy and super a super good trip but i already missed them so much so it's like so sad leaving but we are back to the grind today and this is the first day that i'm like back in my routine and it also feels kind of good stepping out of my routine because it makes me appreciate like why i do it but anyways i am going to the gym and it is pouring rain outside it is cold it is dark yeah literally yesterday i had a fitting and i had to drive like half an hour on the highway and i literally couldn't see anything it was pouring rain and my windshield wipers were going so fast but i still literally couldn't see anything it was so bad but yeah i kind of forgot what it's like driving in a tsunami rain like that that just like goes to show it's full-fledged fall and winter now so love the cozy vibes but yeah so anyways i just thought i'd continue this vlog because i didn't really end anything off and might as well just add today as the last portion of it let's go to the gym get our workout in get back on a routine or fall era routine let's go to this workout it is currently like almost 6 a.m right now and i am tired because i'm not used to waking up this early but i just have to like get into it for a couple of last days of this week so that i can enjoy my weekend and then really get back into it next week so i bought this new aritzia butter tank actually and i've been wanting it to restock in white so badly and i went in store and i found it and i was so happy these are the best they're yeah the aritzia butter golden tanks the workout tanks but i wear them like just as normal tank tops as well and to work out and they're my favorite the material is so soft and so good and i wear my black one like 24 7 so i really wanted the white one and i finally found it and then i also got these little cute biker shorts they're the i think they're the whipped material and they're so soft and they're in gray I, I do have the leggings in this color but i wanted the biker shorts as well because i wear them all the time so that's my little workout outfit of the day i gotta do like loads of laundry because everything is dirty so this is what i <laughs> put together today So I have just been kind of having like a lazy work chill day whenever I get back from a trip I feel so like disoriented Miscombobulated. I almost sometimes feel like I need a genuine vacation from my vacation because I just get so lazy coming back from a trip but anyways i edited our podcast today because we haven't posted in two weeks talia and i had back-to-back -back trips so when she came back literally the day after i left so we didn't have any time to record and so we just couldn't upload the other week but that's okay now i'm just like feel like i'm getting my life back on track for the fall and coming back from the trip since it was a bit hot there we got some sun now it's like the weather here is getting so much colder like it is a bit sunny today sunny cloudy but the temperature is not above like 15 degrees so it is like a cold sunny day like a crisp fall sunny day which i honestly love and i literally just felt like wearing pajamas today i got this like little cute pajama romper from garage i'm obsessed with it if i can find it i will link her down below because she is so cute and like it's giving fall and it's so comfortable i live for stuff like this in the winter and the fall because it's just like makes me feel cute but also really comfy working from home they slayed with this and the quality and the material is so nice and like it's pretty thick and just like i feel like i'm getting fall in this okay and it's just making me happy today so like, also i need to do laundry today as you can see behind me and this is not gonna slide for the rest of the day so it's the after trip laundry because i did unpack which is so good for me i unpacked almost right away which i never do so i was proud of myself for that but i have a bunch of laundry to do now so that's gonna be done soon and i have just been so obsessed with this nail color like so obsessed with it when i got it i had no idea like that this color is like in right now i didn't know that it was going viral because i had seen a photo of it on pinterest and i was like oh i should do that and then literally like having them now done for a week later i'm going on social media and everybody 
and their mother is getting this nail color and it's not like i even started a trend because i didn't even post about it okay like nobody saw me with these nails and it wasn't me i got it before it was cool and now everybody is getting this color and i'm actually obsessed like i'm debating getting these nails up until december because they are giving fall right now but then november and december they're gonna give christmas as well because they're like a dark burgundy they're just like perfect for this time of year and i feel so boring going to the, into the nail salon and not like switching up my nail color so i don't know what i'm gonna do for sure but this nail color is such a sleigh like every time i look down i just think fall and it makes me so happy so i don't know i'm either gonna when i get my nails done i'm either gonna go and like change them maybe a dark brown or something and then change them back to this or i'm just literally gonna get this color for the rest of the season like all the way up until literal december let me know what i should do but anyway so yeah today has just been a very much chill editing day like i need to get grocery shopping done and that's not how that's just not gonna happen today because i just am not feeling it so it's a hibernation day <laughs> like not even that late and it's already almost dark out what baby now it really really is starting to feel like fall i feel like as soon as it starts getting darker earlier it just like fall hits me guys look at her freaking onesie we just got the baby spade and kind of a stressful process because it's so sad you know when they're going in for surgery but they're doing good and oh my gosh, she's literally matching me with the stripes right now. You're matching mama. You're matching mama. But they're both doing good and they look so freaking adorable in their onesies. I literally have not been able to stop taking photos of them. Poor girls got their womanhood stripped away from them. Are you mad at us for doing that? Hmm? They look so cute. Like I need to get them Halloween costumes. Imagine her being like a pumpkin and then to be being like a ghost like how cute would that be it needs to be done we literally i'm not even kidding you have no groceries i need to go to costco i need to go to just everywhere and anywhere i need to go grocery shopping but that didn't happen today so i think i'm just gonna rummage up and make maybe a tuna melt or grilled cheese because i have some good gluten-free bread i literally don't know what to do i do sometimes like mishmash dinners because it's so easy and quick but now i'm just thinking like what do i make because like i could do a grilled cheese with bacon and tomato inside that would be so good but also a tuna melt will give me more protein mm. I'm like debating in my head right now. Honestly, a sandwich with slap, like a grilled cheese with bacon and tomato, like that is so wholesome. Mm, okay, we're gonna do that. This gluten-free sourdough, it's cooked by Promise. Uh, that's the brand, Rustic White Loaf. This is like the most exquisite gluten-free bread that I've ever seen. And it's really good, so I'd recommend this if you guys are gluten-free. You can't find it at every single grocery store, but it is at some. That's like the reality of living on your own. It's like, if you don't cook the dinner and you don't go grocery shopping, like nothing is gonna be done because your mommy isn't there to cook it for you or go grocery shopping for you. It's whatever, like we've just been eating Uber Eats. My Uber Eats bill is probably like at $25,000 right now, but that's okay. And I usually never really order out anyways. Like I'm always cooking. So once in a while, it's okay to treat yourself and to splurge on food. Cause like, I honestly like spending money on food. I just hate it because it's like almost like throwing it down the drain cause you're eating it. 
But at the same time, it's like we need food to survive and we need food to thrive. So it's not a waste of money because it makes me happy. You know what I mean? And nothing is a waste of money anyways because money isn't even real. It's just energy, you know. She eats everything, guys. My cat Hershey at home, oh my god, like she's licking this. My cat Hershey at home would only eat meat. Like she would only eat protein and like cat things. But this girl, like two bees and like this, but this one over here, she eats anything. She will like, like I dropped beans the other day when I was cooking soup and she ate them. Like Hershey would never eat beans. And she was looking at Joel's ketchup, she eats eggs, like she'll eat anything and that just shocks me because i didn't know cats were like that i thought like cats only are very like i know they're very picky but like i said my cat hershey she literally would strictly just eat cat things like cat food meat and that is it so like with bino her literally eating everything is crazy to me like you're a cat you're not supposed to eat everything like that's what dogs do so i'm just surprised by that or maybe she's in her risky food era like they're seven months now so maybe they're just like exploring new things maybe she'll grow out of it but i don't know let me know down below if that's normal because she'll literally eat anything at least she has a good appetite but i'm like girl like you cannot eat <laughs> non-cat food okay right baby girl You guys can't tell me that they're literally the cutest things ever in their little onesies <laughs> i can't handle it so i went shopping at home sense and i haven't given you guys a haul yet i just got a couple things but i obviously had to give you guys a haul i think i spent 97 percent of my money at home since this month but that's okay because that is girlhood that is fallhood walking in that store is a trap it is a trap they know what they're doing and they're winning because i don't think i've ever walked in that store and not spent money like it's actually crazy but i just got a couple things i didn't go overboard this time i found a couple of cute like halloween you know fall mugs but I don't know guys, I, I think I'm transitioning more to demure, more classy, more timeless because the mugs that I would have bought in that I was debating between, I know that I would have literally used them for a couple of years and then got bored of them and they were gonna be thrown out. They weren't the best quality mugs and they were just very, I don't know, there was one with cute little bows on it. They were trendy and I was about to pick those mugs, okay? I was about to sit there and be like, I like these. But then I stumbled upon these, okay? These mugs are such good quality. Like, they're a good heaviness. Like, they weigh a couple pounds each, I swear. They're made in Portugal, which is so cool. And they're giving fall. Like, you can't tell me this is not giving fall fall like they're really really cute they're timeless like i could see me literally having these forever because they're very classy and i need to start buying just more classy like timeless things that i can see myself having for years and years to come like forever and so when i saw these mugs over the other ones that i was gonna choose i was like mm -mm, we're gonna be classy and i'm not mad about my decision they kind of give like turtoise, tortoise print. They're kind of giving that vibe. They're still very, very fall and they're good quality. And I'm happy with my decision because I know that I will thank my future self for getting these. I love this pattern right now. Like look at it with my nails. It looks so fall. So these are a slight and I got them as like a cute little set. So we have two of them. Then I just picked up this sand and fog shower gel and the scent teak wood just for the spare bathroom because i bought a soap for the spare bathroom but then we ended up stealing it for our bathroom because we ran out of our soap and i really love the sand and fog soaps i love how it's a pump easy access and the scent is giving it's giving fall and i love the packaging on these as opposed to getting like a dove one you know it's really clean clean cut and aesthetic 
And then last thing I got is this vase thing. You guys saw my other <laughs> other home sense haul of the month. I got kind of the same idea, but they were darker. And I don't know if you could see it, but these are like more white patterns and brown. Or I really want to get like glassware that's this pattern whether it be brown, darker, like the other vases that I got, or like this, I really need to find glassware in this pattern. I looked on Amazon, there's absolutely nothing. So if you guys know where to find anything like this, that's like an act, cause this, this isn't a drinking cup. Like it's way too big and it's just like, it's not a drinking cup. This is more for holding stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I just had to buy it cause it was so cute. I might actually use this in my bathroom for my toothbrush and stuff. So that might go in there, but it also comes with the lid. So if I want to use it in the pantry, but no, it's too cute. It needs to be like on display and I love it. And that is all that I got from HomeSense. I really, like I said, I didn't go overboard at all. I just actually had to do a return. So this is technically all free. So <laughs> are you kidding me? My cats are literally the cutest things ever. I love cats. Dinner was so good and just like hit the spot, but I have been watching the Vampire Diaries. I actually started it maybe a year and a half or two ago. I have no idea what season I got to or what episode I got to. Like I have no idea where I was in the show and I stopped watching it. I don't remember why I stopped watching it. I am restarting it because there's no way I'm just gonna be able to like magically find like where I was and then like actually remember everything that happened. So I'm just starting it from the beginning and I really want to actually finish it this time. And just watching it, it's like the most fall show ever. I don't know why more people are not giving it as much hype for a fall show like as Gilmore Girls. Honestly, I would say it's like, it's more on the spooky side, but that's like, it's giving fall just as much as Gilmore Girls does. It is definitely such a good fall watch and I've just kind of had it on, to be honest, like in the background when I'm cleaning, cooking dinner, making breakfast and whatever. It's one of those shows that's really good to have on in the background. I have like two types of like shows that I watch. I have the types of shows where I need to be deadlocked into the TV, no distractions, no phone, no nothing. like. Literally me sitting down on the couch like I need to pay attention and I want to watch it That's the first type of show where I can't turn my head away and I don't like I need to know everything that happens And then I have type 2 where I could just put them on in the background They're just like they could play and I don't care if I like miss something because I'll always know what's happening And I can just like still pay attention, you know, it's more shows that I don't care about as much like the vampire diaries i feel like you can look away for a bit it's like gilmore girls like it doesn't matter you don't need to be watching it like 24 7 like it's okay to have one in the background and shows like that i love because they're just like so chill and you could just put them on versus shows i actually want to pay attention to if i'm cleaning or cooking i don't want to put them on because i want to be paying attention just to that you know i don't know if i'm the only one who like makes that distinction in their heads but it's so valid to me like i just it is the way it is so this is a type two vampire diaries is a type two show where i could just have it on in the background and i love that because like, i could just put it on when i want background noise when i'm doing something um, or background entertainment but it is so fall and i can't wait to just like finish it i don't know i think there's gonna be eight seasons but i just want to finish it because i feel like when i watched it i never got to like the really good parts like i never got i'm not gonna spoil anything but i never got to like the good parts of the show so i need to get there and then i feel like i'll be more invested so anyways that's been my vibe and it's been putting me in the fall mood not gonna lie it's just such a vibe at night though having the candle on putting on a fall show getting to bed early so i'm gonna head to bed soon but guys i need your opinion like please please let me know down below because i cannot make a decision like this for the life of me i need to know if i should dye my hair okay i vouch to myself back in the day when i dyed my hair blonde it was horrible i vouch to myself that i would never do it again like never touch my hair again but then I'm like, okay, what if I do it right this time, you know? And what if I actually, like, I'm not going to fully dye it blonde, obviously, but what if I got, like, I'm thinking that, like, a light brown, maybe, like, barely a balayage even, just, like, putting some lighter pieces in my hair. Let me know if you think I should do it. I am really scared. Like, my hair is so naturally dark. Touching it makes me scared because when I did go blonde, it went, like, super brassy. But also, it's like I didn't do it right, you know? So... 
I don't know let me like I really need your guys' opinions because it's so funny I just started thinking about it recently and then once I started thinking about it I got a comment on my one of my videos and somebody said please dye your hair add like lighter pieces into it and I was like what the hell this person literally just read my mind which is crazy let me know what you guys think because I do love my dark hair but I feel like maybe adding some lighter pieces can like bring out my face a bit more change things up just because my hair I feel like is always just like the same because I don't really do anything to it I just cut it once in a while and then that's basically it and I do love my dark hair so I don't know but I am getting bored so I'm like hmm, should I change it I don't know let me know what you guys think if I should do anything to it and if you think that's gonna be a good idea or if it's gonna look good especially for the fall like I feel like it would be so fall I'm actually on set tomorrow and I'm gonna do a kind of productive fall work week in my life because I'm on set for the next few days so that's fun but I'm going to kind of give you guys a behind the scenes of working on set and what my week is going to look like. So stay tuned for my next video. And yeah, thank you guys literally so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys so much. And I am loving doing and making the fall content so far. See you guys soon. I love you. Mm -hmm.